Hello, welcome to Souls Intersect. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising Signs, and it is for the month of June 2017. If you're interested in a private reading with me, please email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com, or you can book directly through my site, and the address is below in the description. I'm going to read through the cards, and then I'll get started. From the top left, you have Justice, the Seven of Pentacles, and the World, and then in the center row, Nine of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and on the bottom row, Seven of Cups, the Magician, and the Empress. Okay, lots of different mixed energies here, and you can see it too with all the different coloring. I wanna start with the top row, with justice, the seven of pentacles, and the world, it does look like there's been some sort of outcome that you've been waiting for in regard to something. Could be lots of different things applying to different areas of your life, depending on who's watching, but it does feel like this is a long-awaited answer, verdict, or solution to something. It does seem like it is going to turn out in your favor with the world. That feels like a lot of triumph and victory energy there. And it also might indicate that it has been a year in, in the waiting has been a year. Um, and it could be legal with the justice card, but not necessarily. This could be any sort of outcome. It could even be something that you've been waiting to understand about yourself. So it could be completely internal but it does feel like for whatever reason there's been delays and waiting, um, a lot of worry with the Nine of Swords in the second row. I feel like a lot of you have been keeping yourself busy with work in order to try to burn away a lot of the mental anxiety, the overthinking in regard to that verdict. And it feels like that, that Nine of Swords energy feels like it's really been um, eating away at you. But you have the Six of Swords on the other side, kind of in line with this positive outcome. So that's going to be the release and the healing. And you can see um, the energy shift in the artwork too. You see like more of the fear, hiding, crouching position in the Nine of Swords. And then with the Six of Swords, it's like she's completely just open, let down her arms. Her heart, her heart chakra is exposed to the sky it seems like what might have been clouds is starting to clear and you see the birds flying free so definitely a release a deep breath i like that in the seven of pentacles artwork um that it's a similar position that's the delay or waiting card and it's above this eight of pentacles which can indicate busy at work and so i feel like the choice to keep yourself busy with work, or if you don't work, it could be something else you keep yourself busy with, most likely something to do with your hands or other something else that would um, take up mind space for you, it has been really beneficial for you. It's It really did make the waiting for you more graceful, although I, you know, I do see that the Nine of Swords came up, so it means that there was definitely worry. But your decisions that you made and the things that you did to try to cope with that were well guided and also beneficial. So not only did it help you in taking up that mind space, keeping yourself busy and distracting yourself, but I feel like it's it's reaping other rewards and that you learned more about yourself in the process. And you, I see some fruits of your labor coming through with this Empress card. The Seven of Cups is interesting in this reading. Let me tune in a bit more. I really feel like you were guided to focus on whatever it is you chose to focus on during this time. And it, I am really feeling the energy of a year, of a calendar year. I feel like that will apply to a lot of you. I don't know that you even realize how guided you were by your spirit guides to channel your energy into what you did. Also, this could be, um, for some of you, 
if you don't feel like you've been able to channel that energy, this feels like a solution for some of you. If you're still waiting, for example, there is something that you can channel your energy into and a lot of your fellow Cancerians have already done that and that's what I'm seeing. Try to follow your guidance in keeping busy with something because it's going to, again, not only distract you, but help you reap rewards and learn new things about your work or yourself. Both, actually. So a lot of major arcanas here and the magician and the empress together are really powerful and they're, they're working together to show me that it's learning so it's rewards you know internal rewards that you'll have for a lifetime but also honing skills developing new skills building new skills and even reaping rewards in terms of fruits of your labor which can be those skills but can also be financial um, things that you can really store and apply to your life later so I feel like this waiting almost feels like it was something done that it happened for a very specific reason and that reason was to help you in channeling that energy knowing learning that you can do that and then also reaping these rewards that come with it okay I feel like the with the Eight of Pentacles in the center, it is speaking to that, that channeling of the energy. But I also sense that there is some boredom involved in work that you are doing. And I feel like with this Seven of Pentacles card, you're being called to Find a way to infuse something different into the work that you're doing. For some of you, it might also be exploring options for doing other things, other types of work. But with the world in that diagonal too, with the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and then the world in the top right corner, I feel like there might be a way to make whatever it is that you do more interesting and it might involve travel it might involve um doing things online as opposed to in person if that's an option for you but it feels like a lot of brainstorming that there are other options to make it more interesting or other options to do other things and it could be similar and it could be using some of the new skills that you've developed recently i want to focus more on this verdict to see if i can pinpoint what it might be about for some of you. I was thinking that it might have to do with work, with this being a very work-focused reading and the card at the center, but I don't think so. I feel like it has more to do with health or personal life in some way. It could involve a relationship, but it feels more to me like family, something health related with a family member or yourself or um, related to a family member in terms of wanting to hear from a family member that you've been looking for or um, that is missing or estranged, you know, maybe not actually missing, estranged or someone around you who's, again, it could be a legal matter, a family member waiting to hear about a legal matter or you as well. So it could be something related to like a divorce. I also think for some of you, it, it's in regard to fertility, maybe some type of hormones or natural remedies that you've been taking for um, females that are watching this or maybe your partner males who are watching this that you've been waiting to see if they'll work um, or maybe you've been waiting to get, um, you've been, how do I put this? Um, like on a waiting list for something, some kind of treatment. And that feels like what you've been waiting for, for some of you. All feels very positive. So there are no guarantees, but seeing that the, the pregnancy art in this 
the depiction in this seven of pentacles and then the world also being this green color and all about fertility feels really positive or if it's a kind of treatment for an ailment it also does feel positive to me and then the six of swords is very much a recovery card in a lot of instances I also feel that the seven of pentacles calling out to me again that there are multiple options there too so if for some reason whatever this outcome is isn't what you expected there are other options I there's a lot of encouragement here both in regard to work and then health issues or legal issues don't give up if you get an answer that is not what you were expecting I don't want to call it a negative outcome because I don't think it is with this world card but if it, it wasn't what you were expecting definitely explore other options because there are multiple ones out there okay I'm gonna wrap it up here feel free to check out my site and read through the descriptions of my readings I have a little bit of a different approach and I am an intuitive reader so I just want to encourage you to check out my site and I also do past life readings which don't involve the tarot I do those strictly through meditation and they are at a new lower rate now of $35 so there's a description about them on my site as well and the links that you'll need below there's also a sample past life reading on my channel and I'll, I'll put the link to that in here also all right have a great month of June and take care